gift of music in so mm -hmm. many different ways. But I also think at this time of year, yeah. Best Father's Day gift ever. Best ever. Ever. If you so have not unique. gotten Dad a Father's Day gift, what we're talking <laughs> about is our uh, Ion Audio 1965 Ford Mustang replica car turntable. This has so many things going for it, it's ridiculous. First of all, I don't know why it reminds me of like the old <laughs> music machines they had in diners. Right, You know, the it cool does. ones, you know, you, you moved it with your hand, but what this is, Absolutely, is a yeah. multi-functional music system. Perfect Father's Day gift. It has over 45 star reviews. Super Super cool 1965 retro Mustang mm -hmm. styling. Now, anybody that's a Mustang guy or gal buys this automatically. Sure. But if you just buy it because it's super cool, you're going to be rewarded so many times over because it'll play all kinds of music. Yes. It'll play records. Is there anything cooler nowadays than being able to play <laughs> records? All or speeds. as my son calls them, big CDs. <laughs> Kids like, these days, what? right? Big CD. What year? Oh, that's right. You were born in the this millennium. Right. Anyway, right. but this will play your records. You, <laughs> if you have a little USB sticks full of music, you can pop the USB stick in the front of this as well. You can. It's got ways to be able to plug your phone into it. So if you want to put your music from your phone and play that through the built-in speakers. You can do that as right. well. Um, it is a belt-driven, old-school, cool-as-heck turntable. And the sound is amazing. I really love it. it. But what I love more than anything is the classic styling. The when you look, think about yes. 65 Mustang, they even, there's the box. Here's the box. So this is huge. If you're gifting this to dad, officially licensed Ford product. Look at this box. This is gorgeous, yeah. right? Look, it has the car hey, all the way around it. I mean, it's amazing. I'm calling my producer. Rob, are you there? Where's Rob? Hey, buddy. <laughs> I want to show everybody. Do you have the video of my house where I have mine? Show that, because I put it like on this little coffee table. I want to see. You got to see it. Look, watch. Look how cool I am. Look at it. Yeah, there look it is. Look at you. Isn't You're that so awesome? cool. Yeah, I'm just jamming. You're jamming there. out to it. Look at, look look at, at records. You. Close it up. Yeah, this yeah. This is day off guy. Look at him. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're yeah, so cute. Yeah, Isaiah, you enjoying that? Yeah, I'm there sitting there in my t-shirt. But I have it there, and you know what? When people walk in, that's the first thing they look at. They're like, what is that? And when I open yeah. it, I'm like, they're like, you have a freaking turntable? You have a turntable, what? sure. And I'm like, yeah, because collecting old records is like was, was a thing my dad used to do, my mom used to do. Right. They weren't old when they got them, they were new, but but sorry, mom. But uh, there, it's such a fun thing to do. When it you is. break down it's like so step by step, let me tell you there's two colors. Rob, which is gonna sell out first? Black. Black will be the first to go, although red, the red 65 Mustang Wildly is, popular. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, yeah. that paint job on this alone is absolutely gorgeous. Like a lacquered job. Lacquered, yeah. yeah. It looks like a multi-layer, like car paint process, basically. So what we love about the Ion Mustang turntable, this is a true four-in-one. So AM, FM radio, you can listen to right. here, right? Love it. All three speeds of your albums, 33 to third, 78, 45s, will all play here. We even have for you the little adapter. So there's the adapter. Yeah. It, it's housed right there on the top yep. of, your, um, of your brand new Ion Mustang, so you have that for your 45s. But the beautiful thing too is this is for music past, present, and future because you can also play music right off of a USB drive. See how they have this USB drive yeah. port right here in the front? Or you can digitize your albums, just make a copy of them right, right onto that USB. So now any of your music, any of your songs yeah, it's that on are your computer, it's a, If it's on your yeah. phone, whatever. We all know, you know, like Danny wants to think of, about a, a disc, right? A compact disc right. because it's portable. This is not a portable medium right but now you can take those songs and digitize them and then listen to them on your computer yeah. or drag and drop them onto your phone onto your tablet it's so great and it's really really fun you plug this in and what it's doing is it is combining two passions americans are obsessed with right love of the open road and classic cars and love of beautiful beautiful music you know what's funny is that you would have paid for like, let, let me just pick a brand, okay? So like in the old days, you know, I, I think the last turntable I had was like a Marantz right. turntable. That <laughs> right. company's still around, right? It's a great company. Sure. But anyway, I, I went at like a turntable alone, even back in the day, cost you $200. Of course. Just for the turntable. Exactly, did and nothing then, else. And then you would buy your, you know, your eight track cassette, whatever the, you know, you'd have all that other, all these other right. things. And then you'd have, it would be in, a, in a, a configuration this big, right? It was huge. 
This doesn't take up a lot of space. It looks like a jewel when it's up on a like on a cabinet. So beautiful. And you can put the records in and you can close it and it's still it opens up. The back is open. See? So the record is I you can't, see it look popping at how well out right there. Is. It's still playing. It's uh, well this is I'm oh, actually that, playing the USB tape? right now. Uh, I'm just saying but that's cool. The really cool thing is, I mean it's super portable. So it's 7.7 pounds. You can take this room to room if you want. You can plug it in. So back here, of course, here's your FM tuner cable right here. But you can plug this into another set of speakers. So you've got those speaker uh, inputs right here. So you're lying out. You can plug this into your larger stereo system if you want. You can also plug in any of your newfangled devices, your phones and your tablets, because there's an auxiliary port right up here at the front. So you have a lot of different ways to experience and listen to your music. And talk about a cool retro style. Look at this. It looks like you're sitting behind oh, the yeah. wheel totally. of a 1965 you know Ford because Mustang. You are. In your you world, because you in are. In your world, Lori, you are. It's you, like you that. You are moving back in time. It's like you just. I watched. Just watch this thing on, like how they made Greece. And I was just like, it transports oh you. Oh my gosh. To like another time. And so that, and much that's fun. What this does. Anybody that went to a diner and put a couple of quarters in the machine and had that little flappy little machine that turned the page. Right. You know what I'm talking about? This, I love, it's all hands-on. Um, it illuminates, you can't see because we have the bright lights on here, but this whole thing is beautiful. Look, there's the USB stick is in there and we're playing music off that. Right, and then here's how you adjust. Let's so, the record player again, Yeah, though. when you go through your source, so all you do is you simply touch the button right here and this is gonna take you through. So now I'm back on phonograph. You even have your automatic arm, Look so you it. can touch that little button right there. Yeah, we'll show you from the top. Yeah, so works. you can put this right on, put the needle right there, down on the record. I mean, it's so easy. Like Look at this, it just noise. lowers Let's it so gently. I mean, this is some classic old, really, yeah. really old. You music. know what I? You know what my parents have. I've told you this before. We have, we have albums from like, from like the the sixties. Yes, you we do. Had, when we were kids, we would go to that cabin in Vermont, and all that was there was a phonograph player or a record player, and no TV. And, and it was like Tony Bennett and old Sinatra albums, and like Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. How I remember all that? Well, it had a left lasting impression on me. Yeah, for sure. And that music was priceless to us because it was our only entertainment. There wasn't even a TV in this cabin that we used to rent. And because my father was a ski patrolman up there, we were all little kids and he'd take us up there on the weekends so and that cool. was our life. You know, mom would make chili in the crock pot and we would listen to records this and light the fire. sounds amazing, I wanna go. It was a great way to grow up and, and to spend your winters. And I, when I look at this machine and I think, and record collecting, by the way. It's back, let's baby. Go, let's go, 20 years ago, there wouldn't be a record store anywhere here in St. Pete or Tampa. Now. There's probably, They're everywhere. There's probably dozens of them. Oh, there's them. a huge resurgence in yeah. vinyl. I mean, we, we do love... more than records, but... But we love the sound quality. If yeah. you think about that, the snapping, the crack, cracking, the little nuances and tones. Yeah, the needle Digital music does not have that same... And you had mentioned something once. I thought this was so true, Guy. Like, that anticipation. That whole process of, you know, you're turning on the record player. You are putting down the record. Yeah. You put the needle on. The, like, it's just this whole kind of process. And then the sound quality is so worth it. Like, the payoff in the yeah. end is amazing for this and it's unlike anything else by the way um what you're listening to the sound is coming out of the machine itself there are two yep, built-in speakers, speakers right and here they, they tuck them in on the side it's really cool stereo speakers on the back uh you have rca outputs now what that is going to be able to, uh, to allow you to do is add extraneous speakers if you want to. sure yep absolutely. so if you've got a you know a, uh, a subwoofer or something you want to click on there so you get even more sound or maybe even one of those fun and this speaker could be, bars or yeah, something. The record player, yeah. and you listen through your other speakers, you can absolutely you do can that. You can do too. that. Yep. So uh, there, and there's an auxiliary port. Right here. So if you want to plug, uh, if you get the, if you have the adapter for your phone, yeah. you can plug this right in. Just that cable, plug it right in. I have one because my old iPhone yeah. didn't, have, wasn't, didn't have the digital thing, it still had the little plug, so I have that cable. Oh yeah, just and, plug it in. Well, because my Bose, this is before my Bose had Bluetooth. Right. And, and so I use my phone on my older Bose because it doesn't have Bluetooth. This doesn't have Bluetooth but you still have the ability to connect your phone. Yeah, you can phone. absolutely use that cable. If yeah. you want private listening, there's a little headphone jack right here. So that's really nice as well. And then look at the rotary dials, these retro round, beautiful rotary dials like you would find in that classic vehicle. And if you think about the, the Mustang, the 1965 in particular, or any year actually, I mean, what a classic, iconic car. We have so many people who have called into the show and said, you know, I owned a classic Mustang, or my husband did 
it, or this just reminds me of the fun we used to have in a friend's car. I mean, it's an amazing piece of Americana. Love it. Right? Yeah. And then here's the other thing. So with the ability to be able to digitize your songs, you're digitizing them with those nuances, with the snapping and the crackling. If you go to buy these songs in the app stores, it's going to be like 99 cents or $1.29 a right. song. Right. And it's all digitized. It doesn't have that that sound, that richness, that warmth like vinyl albums do <laughs> unless you digitize so it right from your album. You can save a copy right onto that USB All drive. Right. Rob, how many left in black? Did you say just a handful? Okay, so there is about 600 or so left in the black. I wanted you to see it because I want you to see how beautiful it is to display. You can also put this on a bookshelf, no worries, because when you put it down, you don't need to open it really, really, you know, giant to get the to get the record in. This one we have a little 45 in. Yeah, and it comes show them the, the adapter. adapter. Yeah, so the adapter. The adapter's in the center. There it is, and the adapter fits right over here. On that, there's a little loop there's a there. Little, yep, a little I spot can for it. Show you. There you go. You can see how everything is set up. Right. Exactly. Um, and then again, you have the spring loaded on the turntable. I love that. This Built is in. just like old school turntable. And like you Where said, everything really is, durable. Is, is yeah. On this little spring load. That's to uh, prevent uh, bumps and bruises and scratches. And then of course you can either put the record on manually, or you can also use the little the auto the little, arm. Little I think auto. that's so cool. And then and that just slow, drop it Watch down. how it drops it. It's so cool. I love that. And then again, Talk put about it over nostalgia. and everything locks. Everything locks back down. And, and it close just lowers. It. So, yeah, really beautiful. So beautiful. Now on the back, I can show you really quickly. Yep, there, there is your uh, There's your uh, FM antenna which you just prop wherever you need. And then there's the two auxiliary ports that I was talking about. If you do want to add extraneous speakers, mm -hmm. yep. uh, there is a right and a left, so you can put those speakers in. You know, if you want to use this in a living area where you want more sound. Right, this exactly. This is ideal for any medium-sized room. The music is great. Perfect. In fact, you, you want to listen that? real quick? You that has a built-in amplifier. You know the video too. of me? Yeah. I was like, this is filling the room. Room so filling cool. sound. So yeah, listen to ahead. this. Song. Come on. <laughs> I feel like, Hold on, you ready? And then you can just turn it up. We're gonna do some oh. jazz, baby. Come on, we gotta switch up All our right. genres here. Now I gotta come up with words to this song. Maybe it's how you do it. <laughs> that, those are the words to this oh, song. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> and look means. how you can skip songs. Means, jokes. So you can skip by touching next. So this is all digital music. Oh, look, there you go. A little classic. This plays every time Joe Harrison walks in the room. <laughs> I don't know why. Right? I don't know why. <laughs> so listen, but I like listen, it. Listen to the instrumental. I'll go ahead and turn it up. Because I want you to know this is not... This is not chintzy. Beautiful. Clear. So well made. Rich sound. Gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? And then look at this. Look at the emblem. I, which would you get? Can I ask you which color? I would absolutely get the red. Yeah. I, have, I have a problem with this red. I feel like I would get a speeding ticket the owning this red. The black looked really good in my, looks I really love good the in black. my house. No, I love the black. I'm so, just a little partial to the red. Well, but I love that. That looks really fast, yeah, too. They both look really fast. Because you're a girl, you like the red color. I do like the red. I I, this reminds me of, like, if I had a, you know, a convertible. And the top was dropped, Ooh. right? A little wind through the hair, like you know. You want to hear my? You want to hear my biggest regret? Well, I didn't have a lot of choice. My father was the one that made this decision. But when I got my first car, and I saved up money, yeah, I found there was a '67 butter yellow Mustang convertible. Oh for yes, sale please. With, with the white, with the white interior. And they wanted like it was like they wanted like eight hundred and fifty dollars for it. Oh I mean, my it needed gosh. work. Yeah, of course. My dad was like. And he goes, well, I'm not buying you a car that needs work. And I was like, oh, that same car probably worth about 40 grand. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. That would have been Sorry, worth Dad. it to have. But he was like, oh, you well. know. So. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, um, all right. Is that?